For those of you who are taking writing workshop, I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about a task that we're going to be working on this Wednesday, May 24, 2023. The learning outcomes for this task are to compare and contrast different figurative language devices used in songs and poetry, specifically the poems that we've written so far uh, in this unit. We also want to try to begin broadening maybe the different types of figurative language uh, devices maybe that we've used so far. So the instructions for this task are to find a song that, number one, contains figurative language devices that you have yet to use in your limerick, tanka, or sinkane. Or, number two, find a song that contains the same idiomatic expression or expressions that you have used already in one of your poems. So, one way to go about searching for particular examples of different figurative language devices and different songs is to use AI. And specifically, I would suggest that you consider. Google's Bard to try to find examples of figurative language. At the time of this recording, the uh, ChatGPT option for finding particular examples of figurative language in different songs, uh, you'll not get the same results as if you're uh, if you were to use uh, Bard Search. So I would use Bard Search, and here's an example of a prompt that you could use, and uh, this is the output. This is the actual result that you're likely to get. So feel free to use artificial intelligence to try to find different examples of figurative language in your search. Maybe you have found a song already or you're familiar with a song that already uses examples of figurative language. Uh, so perhaps it's a, a search is not necessary. But uh, make sure that you consider it if you are having some challenges finding uh, examples of figurative language. Once you have found the song, upload the song title in the article to the virtual classroom forum for week 16. Now, depending on the option that you chose, complete one of the two following options. Option number one, using the same figurative language device used in your original song, find a second song that contains the same device, the same figurative language device. For example, if, you, uh, if your original song contains a simile, then try to find another song that also uses a simile. The two songs may either have the ex same idiomatic expression or the same simile, or perhaps they, they use different similes. Option number two, if your song contains an idiomatic expression, one that you've already used in one of your poems, try to find a second song that uses the same expression, the same idiomatic expression. Now, the criteria for this task, depending on which option you chose, create a video. For example, use, you can use Canva. You can use Microsoft Teams to create your video. And try to adhere to the following criteria. Try to speak for five to seven minutes. Using a webcam with a video, present your ideas using visuals. Those visuals might include images, figures, tables, and text. Discuss idiomatic expressions and types of figurative language used in songs and your poetry with examples. In your discussion, provide context regarding the song and poem and how your idiomatic expressions fit within the story or the message. Try to create a vivid and imaginative picture by considering the five senses. Describe any idiomatic expressions found from the songs that were, number one, new to you, number two, interesting, and or number three, possible considerations that you might include in your sonnet. If you need to review the figurative language devices, feel free to refer back to the prior weeks where we uh, talked about the, the different types of figurative language. And again, as I mentioned, feel free to use AI if you need to in, in your search for songs that contain different examples of figurative language devices. If you do have any questions, make sure you're reaching out to me, ask in class, or uh, send me a, a notification or a message via Microsoft Teams.